Hey all, Russ here, TV. welcome. Check it out, this is Highway 77. Make a left up here. I'm gonna head into a little town called Ardmore, Ardmore, Oklahoma. This will be my last stop in Oklahoma and then we're crossing over into Texas. Pretty good sized town here. We're actually going to pick back up on I-35, get me down to Dallas. But I thought, hey, we have a little bit of time, let's make one more stop. This museum, I think, is more about local history, but why not? There it is, big old oil rig, old oil rig sticking out there. Wow, it's huge. All right, let me get parked. Greater Southwest Historical Museum. History everywhere, saving history. Gotta love it. The more the better, in my opinion. Pretty cool, cool old building, huh? A memorial for veterans there. I really didn't read much about this one. This is kind of a last minute decision to stop. Wasn't that Gene Autry uh, town cool with that old museum, all the singing cowboys? All right, let's head on in. All right, it was free. Who's that old guy in the mirror? No admission, they do have a donation box. It's kind of cool. This used to be a National Guard armory. Built back in like the 30s or something. Everything in here has been donated. They even brought in a whole small house. We'll try to check that out. Must have been a local doctor here, chiropractor. This is Hardy Laboratories. Wow, look at this piano. Oh, that's an old timer. My goodness, I bet that sounds good, huh? Back from the 1800s, that thing is huge. Probably weighs as much as my van does. The keys, that thing is in mint condition for its age, isn't it? Uh oh. Don't want to see the doctor. Old time equipment. He had a sanitarium going here. There's that house. Look at that. They brought it in and set it up in here. And pioneers back in the day, Oklahoma settlers. Just a different world, different time. All right, what else we got? Kind of like a replica town in here.
Good old Ma Bell. They'd listen in on your phone calls. <laughs> Hello, operator. Wow, that's a cool clock. There you go. Old time slot machine, just like Vegas, huh? Looks like some paintings. Back in the Buffalo Bison days. And what have we got in here? Pictures of the old town. Dates way back. Horses, livery stable. Yeah, this town goes way, way back. That was my phone. Got another YouTuber gonna stop by. Say hello. Wow, this town caught on fire. Woof. Did some serious damage. Wow. It got leveled, huh? More of it, huh? Ardmore history. Put a few old photos and everything in here. All dirt streets and everything. Old fire department equipment. If you jump out a window, they'll catch you with that thing. <laughs> Whoa! Now that is mint condition. Wow! Modern equipment back in the day. There's more rooms to see yet. There's a military section on the back of the building. He also said this building was a roller skating rink for a lot of years, so it's had many, many uses. Get the good plates out. We got company coming, huh? <laughs> oh, wash tubs. Pretty well done. I mean, these museums, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of planning, design to lay all this stuff out. And they don't charge, so it's funded by the town and the locals. It's always good to come in and support these kind of old local museums. Wow, another piano. Pretty cool. Here you go. Here's some rifles. All in mint condition. Quite a collection. You even got a bunch of pistols. That's the real deal. can't believe they brought in a whole building set that thing up here's your local blacksmith said hey I need a set of horseshoes history about some local guy here huh
in your one room schoolhouse. Little Red Schoolhouse. <laughs> tools of our land. What do we have back here? Farming. Tractors. Yeah, farming's huge. Oklahoma, so is oil wells. Ranching. Looks like some old time tractors. Drawn equipment. This is a big museum. They got a lot of square footage in here. And there's your one horsepower RV. Maybe two horsepower. <laughs> you thought RV and was new. Uh uh. Look up the horse. Throw your blankets in there. Grab some food, and away you go. Pretty cool. Wow, that's a big mural. Well, let's see what else we got. How about a printing press? There's your old time Facebook right there. Social media. The old local hardware, department stores. Who's that old guy in the mirror? Keeps waving. Yeah, oh, goodness, here's your lawyers, judges. Back when people actually read a book. Oh, here's their uh, memorial for uh, veterans. Just talked to a nice lady. They got all the different military uh, services uh, represented in here. She said even the Space Force, the new Space Force uniforms. And they've collected everything through all the different wars. World War I, II, Korean, Vietnam. metal detector for mines and what else we got more old pictures there's probably military base around here huh about ships Navy Different uniforms. How all that's changed huh, through the years. Very well done. I keep saying that, but for a small town museum. Pretty darn impressive.
even uniforms for the women. Wow, there's just pictures of everything in here. Even the space shuttle. Well, what do you say? We got a little bit more. Yeah, the guy said that wood floor. That's from the old skating rink days. The one lady in here that was back in the military section said she used to skate here when she was a kid. Oh boy, going to court. I'm innocent. I didn't do it. Here you go. More about Ardmore history. Sam Noble Hall. Native American. There's your old time electric car. <laughs> now that's changed, huh? Sam wants you to join the army. Oh, here you go. Roller rink, even the prices. Must have a local TV station here, channel 12. NBC affiliate. There's an old canoe. Collection of boat motors. <laughs> Epco Petroleum Products. Well, oil is massive here. Old clock from the funeral home. Grocery store delivery wagon. That's probably an old time Uber there. Call them up, get a horse ride. Soapbox Derby. You never hear that stuff anymore. That used to be huge. They probably still have it, but you never hear about it. And saddle, saddle makers. Glad I stopped in here. You just never know what you'll find in one of these old time museums. All right, there's the house. We gotta walk through the house. And oh boy, is it dark. <laughs> oh. They got a few little lights. We ain't gonna see much. There it lit up a little bit. There's a fireplace. They hauled this whole home in and assemble it in here piece by piece. Hi. How are you? Good. Very well done museum. Thank you very much. Tons of local history, huh? Are you from the area? No, I'm not. My daughter lives up near uh, Oklahoma City. Oh, okay. So I was visiting 
I went and seen that uh, Gene Autry mm -hmm. Museum a little bit ago. That was cool. The whole town named after him. I know, and he never came back. <laughs> nah, just bought a place and said, yep, yep. yep. Town voted, heck yeah. Yeah. But they're still getting tourists. That's yeah. right. It Pre worked out. Pretty smart, huh? I agree. Well, thank you. Of course. Have a great day. Have a great day. Thanks. Okay, well, that house was way too dark to film. Sorry about that. It's probably the darkest one I've ever been in. But pretty cool museum. I mean, they've put huge effort. They're saving history, their local history here. My hat's off to them. Pretty cool. And out here they got an old time oil rig, old truck. Might as well take a look at this thing. Bet that thing was noisy when it was running and drilling. Wow. But that's how they did it. Okay, that phone call I got a little bit ago. Check out this van coming down the street here. We're going to say hi to my friend uh, Stan. He has a YouTube channel called Saznak. Driving up from Dallas, heading up to Kansas. So let's bug him a minute. You didn't catch me picking my nose, did you? Yeah, I did. Damn! <laughs> the hell are you doing here? I'm, I'm I'm heading up to Kansas for harvest. Harvest? Yep. Making money? No. <laughs> Who needs money? All right. <laughs> Shout out who you are on your channel. Oh, Saznak. My, uh, my name's Stan uh, with uh, Saznak. It's uh, Kansas spelled backwards. So. Cool. Small world. I didn't know I was going to be on camera. Be sure to check out Stan's channel. It's called Saznak. Kansas spelled backwards. He's a retired trucker now doing travel videos. Kind of like what I do. Well, I'm going to jump back on I-35, going to start trucking south. I'm going to spend the evening at Windstar, their RV park. It's right on the Texas-Oklahoma state line. Then in the morning, I'm going to cross on into Texas and uh, get ready to go to my conference there in Dallas. This Windstar RV Resort has super high reviews, very good. It's also very reasonable because they want you gambling. I guess it is one massive gambling complex. One of the largest around here, I believe. Oklahoma, there's gambling everywhere. I guess in Texas, there isn't any. So everyone from Texas probably comes up here too. Anyway, that would be a cool little stop. We're going to check it out a minute. Wow, it looks like a small city there with uh, <laughs> high-rise buildings, doesn't it? Big old water tower right there. For more information on my travels, be sure to check out my website, rvrtv.tv. Over there you can sign up for the free newsletter. 
as we're pulling in here to Windstar. Also, you got free screensaver downloads, and I have a merch shop. All kinds of hats, t shirts, coffee mugs, puzzles. Even got a cookbook out now on Instapot cooking, coloring books, activity books, you name it. It's over there on RV or TV. TV. It helps support the channel and future travel videos just like this one, and I appreciate it very much. All right, we got to make a right here to go in the RV park. All right, look at the size of this place. It is huge. I got themed buildings like Rome, Paris, Vienna. A couple dozen different restaurants. Huge hotels. This RV park is absolutely gorgeous. And they comp your first night if you sign up for one of their players cards. So you get a free night if you've never stayed here before. You get a player's card, not bad. And that's looking out towards a Oklahoma, Texas state line. There's a river that runs through there. Wow, they even got a golf course here. Look at this place, whoa. Another water tower. <laughs> Once again, it's like a little city here. My goodness. Big RV sites, huge. Plus their uh, registration office, it's open from like 7 a.m. to 11 at night. They sell ice and supplies. And I'm in number 166, kind of back here, tucked in the corner, very quiet at night. They got a shuttle. They make it super easy to get to that casino. <laughs> I think I might try their buffet tonight. But you can see just how big the sites are. They all got their own trash can, picnic tables. Very, very cool. Well, what a great little stay I've had in here in Oklahoma. In the morning, going to be down in Dallas. Journey continues. Talk soon.